Hey guys, welcome to Jubi's Academy. In this video, I'll show you how to create MySQL databases in your cPanel, how to assign users into your database, and how to assign privileges for a particular user in the database as well from the cPanel itself. So these are the four questions that we're going to answer in this video, and the best part is we'll do all these four things, four functionalities in one go just one go we'll complete all these four questions we'll create a new database we'll create a new user we'll assign a user to that particular database and also we'll assign update the privileges for that particular user in the database in just one go so what you need to do is first log in into your cpanel in the search box type my sql Here, you'll have these four options in the databases section. You need to open this MySQL database wizard. Open this. Here, the step one will be you need to create a database name. You can enter the database name that is required for your development purpose. For this demonstration, I'll just type tutorials. Click next and then in step two you need to create users here let's say uh, YouTube user right just type YouTube it's seven characters max because already uh, GWW demos underscore will be the prefix and here you need to type your password you can set up your password here then click on create user and in the step 3 you need to assign user privileges now here if you don't know uh, what you want what are the privileges that is required for this particular user just click on all privileges or else if you know what you want exactly and what uh, exact uh, precise work that particular user is going to do in that database then you can select it individually or else you can simply go ahead and click on all privileges it will this will make him as an admin of that particular database and now scroll down and click next step that's it you have completed all the tasks you just now created a new database you created a new user, you assigned all the privileges and you connected that user to the database. This is how you can, this is how simple you can do, uh, you can create databases, you can create users, right? And also update the privileges. Now, if you want to check, just go back, go to databases. And scroll down to check whether your database has been created or not. So here is the database that we just now created and here is the user. If you want you can delete the user from here. If you want you can rename the database from here. If you want you can delete the database from here. Now if you want to see the entries or work that has been done within this database just go back scroll down in the database section, the first option will be my PHP admin dashboard. This is the dashboard for that particular database. Open this, you will be redirected to my PHP my admin dash, dashboard. And here, if you click on this plus symbol, you can see this database here. If you click this again, here you can create new tables, and these are. You don't have to do it manually you can create it by uh, php file or python file or something like that but you don't have to do it from here right only do it if it is necessary there's no tables found it is just now we just now created it if you uh, give the username password and the database name to the developer or if you're a developer if you can use these details to create uh, tables and cells right easily and this is how we work on 
databases in cPanel. This is it for this video. In our next video, we'll see how to increase maximum upload limit for uh, in your cPanel using PHP. Right. Thank you very much for watching. Have a great day.